Wolf Trap's outdoor venue opened in 1971. The Barnes opened 10 years later in 1981. Together, the stages have seen more than 7,000 shows, most of them one-night stands. Sometimes artists would perform for two or three nights in a row, but never in the history of Wolf Trap has the same artist performed for five nights. But starting January 16th, that's what's going to happen. It's something that we have been wanting to do for a while. Sarah Beasley is in charge of booking the artists at Wolf Trap. The residencies are really special moments for both the artists and the fans. Uh, a lot has to align on the artist side, on venue avail availability to make it happen. Sure, some big acts like Taylor Swift have five night stands and in 2017, Dave Chappelle did 17 shows in 11 days at the Warner Theater. So who's taking over Wolf Trap for nearly a week? It's not Swift or Chappelle. It's bluegrass legend Del McCurry. I don't know who came up with this five night thing. But <laughs> and the train keep rolling. McCurry, who turns 85 next month, plans on doing five completely different shows, each night featuring a different album. While not from the D.C. area, McCurry got his first big break playing a bar in Baltimore in 1963 when bluegrass legend Bill Monroe saw him play and invited him to join his band. I played mostly in Baltimore, but I, I played D.C. too. One of the five nights at Wolf Trap will be dedicated to Monroe songs, and one night will be all requests from the audience. I asked McCurry if he had any concerns about doing different songs every night for five nights. I'm worried that I won't remember the words, you know. And so I don't have to worry about the band. It's me I have to worry about when it comes to the lyrics, you know. <laughs> At the Barnes of Wolf Trap, Mark Seagraves, News 4.